Alright, let's get that air vent popped out. I'm guessing there's a CD in there. I'm just guessing that based on the fact that I... It looks like I can put a CD in the stereo, so I'm thinking I probably will. That's e usually how those things work, but not always. No, maybe not. It's wicked dusty in there. This envelope's been sitting around for a while. Nothing written on it. But it feels like there's something shaking around in here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that's the card she got out of the puzzle box. Alright, and we should be able to open the puzzle box up now, right? This belonged to Kelsey. There was some trick to open in it. Got it. Oh no. Uh, uh. Is this something that's going to happen or something that did happen? Holy oh. Shit. God. I can't do this. I can't. I can't. I need to talk to someone. Erica, how are you, sweetheart? I've been worried about you. I heard about what's happening. Dad, I, I'm, I'm not good. Some psycho is hurting Sully. She took his eye out and I just found it. Slow down, Erica. Breathe. You can do this. You're strong. You're tough as nails, honey. Just breathe. Oh, please, just talk to me, Dad. Of course. Uh, hey, remember your high school soccer team? You were a hell of a goalie. Even took one right to the face and kept going. <laughs> that hurt like hell. I was lucky nothing broke. Like that would have stopped the brick house. <laughs> brick house. I haven't been called that in a while. I'm sorry, Dad. I know Davies was a friend. She was a good woman. But Erica, you can handle this. You're gonna find this piece of crap who's hurting Sully and bring her to justice. I know I can trust Brickhouse to never let anything stop her. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'll feel better once I catch her. Or unload a few rounds in her. Your job is justice, not revenge. Don't forget that. Be careful, Erica. I don't want to lose you too. I love you, sweetheart. I know. I better go now, Dad. Thanks. Okay. Okay. The hell do I do now? I need to see what's on that memory card. Oh, I don't need to see that again. I'll call Terrence when I'm done and get CSI over here to take care of it. That thing looks like it's about to pop a spring. Alright, can I call Terrence now? Because that's certainly what I would do. I don't need to call there right now. Alright, um... We'll have the memory card. Uh, what can I put that in? Can I just put it in my computer? The memory card I found in Kelsey's apartment. I mean, I don't think anything here would take it. I can't use it on that. I don't think that I can use it on the stereo. There. No. Okay, I guess go back to the office. Yeah, I think so. Shouldn't you call CSI over before you spend like an hour driving somewhere else and then doing more research? Shouldn't you get that ball rolling before you leave the crime scene? Shouldn't you designate it a crime scene? Whatever, who cares about proper police procedure? Wait, 
If I don't use the memory card on this, then what do I use it on? Can I connect it with anything? Wait. No. Um. Um. What the hell do I... Wait a minute, there's this... Holy shit, I didn't realize... That was all in the box, I think? I didn't even see that. Whoops. Okay, yeah, I've got to take that back to her apartment then. Kelsey's demo CD. And then let's do this. Oh, I still need one more, don't I? Yeah, I need one more. Don't think any of these will help. Nope. Yeah. All right, let's go back to her place. Let's see what's on her demo CD. She's pretty good for someone who snapped and started a killing spree. Yeah, if she had any feelings of inadequacy about her voice, she shouldn't have. That sounded great. Okay, now, what the hell do I do with this memory card? Um... I mean, my computer probably has a memory card reader, but I can't use it. Uh, can, can Oh, wait, wait, can I just combine it? Their financial oh, there we go. Records from Daniel Chapman's personal account. How did Kelsey get these? A lot of deposits are coming in from places other than Berkeley, though. There's also a list of companies owned by the Suzy K Lending Institution. A few of these are in the financial records, too. The Dean's taking money from the same student loan company that turned Kelsey down for her loan. <laughs> no wonder he's got all these pricey collectibles. He's taking money on the side. That's what the letter is about. He knew what she was doing. He'd only send that if these were real. Holy shit. What a corrupt fucking Dean. Well, is it time to go confront him? I think so. Well, let's see what the Dean has to say about this. Chapman. Hello, Agent Reed. Hi. Now, let's introduce ourselves again. Or not. No, it didn't happen this time. Alright, you fucker. It's something, but it's not enough on its own to go making threats. 
He'll probably continue to say she never worked here. Um, what? Maybe I have to use the item on him? Yeah, it's time the Dean and I had a talk about this. Okay, so can, can we talk about it? It's something, but it's not enough on its own. What? Uh... Uh-huh? Okay, do I need to steal this paper and get evidence that says she worked there or something? I, I think I have plenty of evidence, but it seems I need something more. They're financial records from Daniel Chapman's personal account. How did Kelsey get these? A lot of deposits are coming in from places other than Berkeley, though. There's also a list of companies owned by the Suzy K Lending Institution. A few of these are in the financial records, too. The Dean's taking money from the same student loan company that turned Kelsey down for her loan. <sighs> no wonder he's got all these pricey collectibles. He's taking money on the side. That's what the letter is about. He knew what she was doing. He'd only send that if these were real. Okay, can I use this on him? Now I need some physical proof to tie him to this letter. Hmm. True, how would I do that? Okay, what do I need to do? I have a bunch of things. I have a ton of things, but I need to pull everything together. Um... Um, erm, erm. I could try to get one of these? I don't know what the point would be. Office of the Dean of Students, Berkeley College of Music. Official looking stuff. I don't know what the point of taking that would be exactly, though. Uh... Hold on. Isn't there like a financial records part of the Boston HQ? I don't know if I can access that though, it hasn't been popping up lately, but maybe it'll pop up now? I don't know if that's financial records in general or like just financial records of the FBI. Because if it's financial records of the SB FBI, then I don't need it. No, that didn't do anything. Damn it. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to pull this together. I mean, I think I have shit tons of evidence against him. Dean Chapman. Hello, Agent Reed. I don't need anything else from those files. I guess I'll try to take one of these. For something? May I take a copy of this? Well, do you need it for something? Yes? I'm thinking of having some stationery of my own made. I'd like a sample of something nice to work from. That's not convincing. Go right ahead. My secretary oh. can give you the name of our supplier. Thanks. Or not? Wow, that actually worked. Okay. The hell do I do with that, though? Official stationery from Berkeley. I mean, I could forge something, I guess. But what? They match. This was written on official Berkeley stationery. So, Kelsey threatened the Dean with these stolen financial records, and he sent her that letter to get her to back down. The idiot even used his own stationery. I think it's time Dean Chapman and I had a little talk. I... I kind of already knew that, but I guess that does give me more evidence. Anyway, alright, let's do it, but before I do that, let me save. Alright, Dean. He's about to get a cold hard punch of FBI to the face. One more time, Chapman. Is there anything else you want to tell me? 
No, I've told you everything. I really hate being lied to. First you lied about knowing Kelsey and that she worked here. Now you're lying about why she stopped working here, when, and why she dropped out altogether. You have no proof of any of that. I have proof of all of that. This letter was sent to Kelsey's personal post office box months ago. Whoever wrote it ripped off the top to conceal the letterhead. What has that got to do with me? They didn't rip quite enough off. The bottom of a few letters are left. Letters that match your office stationery. That's all that proves is someone used a piece of Berkeley stationery to write this. Do you know how many offices carried that? You're right, but that's not all there is. And we have this. Exhibit number two. These files prove that you've been taking gifts from the Susie K. Lending Institution for at least four years. Students get referred and ripped a new one on interest rates, and suddenly you're going on really nice family vacations and getting instruments signed by Yo-Yo Ma and the Beatles. That's a... Uh, there's no... those are falsified reports. I highly doubt it. And a little scrutiny from the experts will prove one way or the other. How are you feeling about your odds in that bet, Daniel? The letterhead, these financial records, plus the fact that Kelsey had access to this office and your reports. And your personnel records over there will no doubt back that up. And the fact that you lied about knowing her? I think I've got a great story for the Boston Globe. How about you? What do you want? The truth, you piece of shit. What happened the last time you spoke with Kelsey? She came here to tell me she was dropping out, and uh, she said she would go to the police with a file. She was screaming, threatening, out of control, and I was honestly scared. I sent that letter to make her back off. I never heard from her, and then she went missing. How convenient for you. I told you, I had nothing to do with her disappearance. Did Kelsey Gardner work in your office? Yes, she did. And why was she fired? She threatened me. She said she had proof that I was corrupt, and if I didn't get her scholarship back, she'd turn me in. So you threatened her right back? I thought it'd make her back off. You knew she was never going to get a loan from them, didn't you? Who they give money to is out of my hands. I just refer people, that's all. And collect all the perks paid for in interest by your students. It's a, a consultant's fee. It's a conflict of interest the size of Russia, and it's illegal, jackass. How many students are living off ramen thanks to your referrals while you're taking trips to Dubai? Now we're getting somewhere. What else are you hiding? I, I got a package this morning. I, I think it's from Kelsey. It came by messenger, and inside it was this charm. Another silver charm. Consider yourself lucky to be alive, Chapman. The victims all were found with charms like this. I'm a target? Well, you need to help me. You need to protect me. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be very safe down at the station. What? I'm FBI, Chapman. Did you really think I wasn't going to tell the police about this? Do yourself a favor and don't leave town. The boys in blue will be in touch soon. Oh, no. I kind of hate it when I need to save assholes like you. I'll give Kelsey this much. She had every reason to hate you. That she did. All right, now I'm going... Where? Down to the station? I... think? Actually, I don't think it really matters where I go. I think I just need to combine all the charms. So, let's do that. Alright. And please tell me this is enough. Yes. That's a lot of blood. What happened? 
That's the alley where Longmore was killed. This can't just be a coincidence. So... The Wise Monkey case is linked to the Longmore case? Okay, what the hell do I do now? Back to the... go to the alley? Maybe it's being... Could it be being used for another crime? Is that maybe where he's being held? It'd be a bizarre choice of place to do a crime, where a previous crime had already occurred. Arathan Avenue. Same street sign that was in my vision. Same alleyway Longmore died in. This is a little too big to be a coincidence. But what's the connection? Arathan Avenue. Same street sign that... Okay, yeah, it's a, a shard of the vision. One of the charms gave me a vision of this dumpster. One of the charm... Oh, is this the one where I need three for it? Yeah. Alright, what was the other one? What was the third one? Was it the door? Or the gate? That gate was in the vision I got from one of the charms. Okay, I think I have enough. It's not enough. I need to make it stronger so that I can use my power with it. I need more? I don't need to check out that crime scene. Oh, do I need to place the correct, uh, the correct charm down? I think I do. Yeah, alright, so, um, let's do this again. Okay, so the dumpster is the face. Sign is the violin. And gate is the piano. Alright, gate is a piano. There we go, now it matches. Or, oh, do I have to put it in the correct spot? Or, wait, I just picked it up? This is gate spot one. Does that imply there's other spots? I'll just leave it there for now. Alright, dumpster was the faces. Or actually actually they're not even faces, they're masks. Whatever, close enough. And the sign was the violin. See if that works. Uh, it's not enough. I need to make it. Hmm. Okay, am I missing something else? Oh, yeah, it's in a different spot. All right, hold on. Gate. You know, left of blood. Face is left of dumpster. And 
and the violin is... I think the violin's in the right spot. Alright, so the gate definitely is not right. How do I move it, though? Yeah, it needs to be there. How do I move it? A silver piano charm. Why does it only go in one place? How the F do I move it? Unless that's not what I'm supposed to be doing, it doesn't look like I can actually move it. What am I missing? Is there something else? What am I missing? I don't get it. It says gate spot one, which implies that it's meant to be moved. But I, I, I can't move it. supposed to be right there. It's in the wrong spot. What the hell? Is this bugged? I... I really suspect this might be bugged. That gate was in the vision I got from one of the charms. Let me try a different one. Right, so the face is supposed to be right there. Dumpster spot one. There's, there's no other spots. This theater mask's chop. the hell? It doesn't seem to matter where I click on the image. It, it goes to the same place. Something's not right. Hold on, let me save and reload. See if that does anything. think that actually did anything. What the hell? What am I missing? You know what I, I know what I need to do. I need to move it into the right spot. But I can't. Why can't I do that? I have... Dad, help me! I need an adult! It might help if you reconstruct the scene just the way you saw it. That's what I'm trying to do! But it won't let me. I really think this is just completely bugged. And if saving and reloading doesn't do it, then what? Yeah, fuck.
You know, before this showed up as, like, Piano Charm or a Gate Spot 1 or whatever, and now it doesn't. Why did it change? That doesn't make any sense. Now it just says Piano Charm. I... I, that I don't understand. The vision. I do not understand. Uh, what's my last save game from? Does it say the time... That was right before I confronted him, right? It's not that far to go back, I guess. Okay, I'm back. Uh, in my fumbling about, which I cut out to save you time. Save you the mental anguish of watching that. <laughs> um, I figured out what I was doing wrong. It's not bugged. The game's perfectly fine, although I think this could have been designed better. Uh, I'm supposed to put, I think, all of the charms down, not just those three that I was doing. As it turns out, if you do this vision thing again... Uh, where's the other one? Wait, where's the other one? Is there one still on the ground? Is it violin? No, violin's there. That's there, that's there. Where the hell's the other one? The fuck? I'm confused. This is not the... Hold on just a second, let me see if I left a charm on the ground. That won't work there. Did I just miss it in my inventory? Where is it? Two, three, four, five. Which one am I missing? This is not Oops. There it is. It, God, it's so tiny. Look at that thing. Okay. Let me demonstrate. For real this time. When you get them all... See, this is what I was going off of. Before it's revealed, you only see those three. What I didn't see when I originally did this... When I did this... That's a lot of blood. Is that there's others. What happened? I didn't notice that. That's the alley where Longmore was killed. This can't just be a coincidence. And it only shows up for like five or ten seconds. No, actually, yeah, like five. And then it disappears. So I had to go back and do it multiple times so I could actually write down their locations. So yeah, it's not bugged. I just need to put down more. Okay, so this one. Uh, let's see. Sign, violence on the right. All right so the G clef goes on the left. There we go. And then on the right is the violin. There we go. And then, on the dumpster. I believe it's just the masks. I think? <coughs> that's, that's actually going to leave me with one still in my inventory. No, that can't be right. That can't be right. Um, well, if the gate has a piano and the bell... Then that means the guitar charm must go here. I guess I missed that one in the in the reconstruction psychic thing I did. All right, I think that should do it. And for the gate, the piano on the left and the bell on the right. Okay, that should do it. I think. I hope. Whew. Is that... Who is that? Is that Anthony Longmore? No, that doesn't... No, that wouldn't make any sense, would it? He was killed inside. You can't move, Kelsey. You can't leave me. What's wrong with you? What are we even doing here? Oh, put that knife down. You're freaking me out. You can't leave me. You love me. I don't. You are creeping. We're through. Get away. Let me go! You will love me. <sighs> get, get away. Help. Help. 
Und? I need to hear your voice. Please, please, Kelsey, please open your eyes. Joey Gothals, the post office clerk. He's the wise monkey? It isn't Kelsey, but it is all about her. Why the victims were all pushed, then stabbed. But why take the eyes, ears, and tongues from the victims? If the wise monkey is a man, who the hell is the woman who has Sully? What the hell is going on? I just had a really, dis I think, disturbing realization. He said, I'll make you perfect. And he's taking organs. Is he, like, constructing a fucking Frankenstein girlfriend out of the per like the best singer, the person with the best ears? Hold on, let me see. Let me look at the file again. What was cut out? It should be one of each, right? The third vic- Let's see. What was taken? Eyes and tongue. Okay, eyes and tongue. And from this one, oh, that one looks like eyes too. First fix. Eyes and tongue. Mm. This one, the eyes were taken. Second victim. This one, the ears were taken. This one looks a little... Uh, it looks like the eyes and the tongue. Anything else? Eyes, ears, and tongue. Hmm. Well, he has multiple pairs of eyes now, but I, I think he's using them to construct like a... I don't even know. I, I had an even I just had an even more disturbing thought. What if he's not just constructing a perfect <laughs> I use that with air quotes, a perfect version of her? What if he's making like like a mask out of her like out of a bunch of body parts or something and that's why he looks like a woman? I oh, I don't know. I guess I'm about to find out. But my imagination's running wild, and none of the things I've imagined are pleasant. Okay, I think I just need to go to his place now. Let's go! Whoops. Wait, how do I leave? Oh, am I gonna watch that again? You can okay, yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, do I just need to call someone? What am I doing here? Shouldn't I tell them I know who the killer is? No? No, thank you. I don't need to call there right now. Are you sure? I don't need to call her right now. I I'm pretty sure you should call someone. I guess I don't She's need this dead. number anymore, but... I don't really want to delete it just yet. John? I don't need to call there right now. Sully? 
If only finding him were that easy. His cell phone was left at the station. Not right now. Later. Okay, what am I doing? I know who the killer is, I know where his place is, but I can't leave? Kelsey hadn't fallen off that thing. She might still be alive. Yeah, that's why I'm so obsessed with stabbing and with people falling. Because that's what happened to her. Could I really not leave, or did I just, like, not see the exit? Oh, the exit's just there. Okay. I just didn't go over enough. Now she calls. John, you son of a bitch. Red, you alright? Whoever's got Sully, they're hurting him. I found his... his eye. What? Oh, shit. This bitch is seriously psychotic. What else have you got? It gets weirder. Kelsey Gardner is dead. She's been dead since she went missing months ago. You find a body? No, I had a vision of it. I believe you, Erica. But look, you're gonna need evidence to back it up for McAdams. Hey, wait a sec, wait a sec. Hang on. If she's dead, then who's the wise monkey? The real wise monkey is a man named Joey Gothals, a post office clerk that I met yesterday. Kelsey used to date him. Trouble in paradise? I'll say. She dumped him and he snapped. No idea where the body is yet, though. And here's another twist. It happened in the same alleyway where the hangman was killed. So, an alley we've been to, a guy you've just met, and the suspect is actually a victim. <laughs> Next you're gonna tell me dogs and cats are living together. Wait, I thought it was a woman who drugged something. It was. How do you explain that? I don't know why or who, but someone is screwing with us, John, and it's pissing me off. I need to find Sully before this gets any worse. Where are you looking next? Um, well, definitely not the post office. Uh, let's go, <clears throat> let's go to his home. I've got Gothal's home address. I'm gonna go check it out. Keep me posted, Red, because I want to catch this scum and nail his balls to the wall. Get in line. We still gotta find out who that woman was. Tell Terrence to prioritize anything connected to getting her ID'd. You got it. I shouldn't leave the charms here. They're evidence. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how these two cases are connected. The Wise Monkey case, and Anthony Longmore's death. It's, it's way too much of a coincidence that they happen at the same place. This is the only door I can find. And until I can prove he's the wise monkey, well, let's say I don't want to deal with McAdams right now. Damn it, how do I get into this place? Oracle? Again? Who the hell is this person? Why do they keep sending these emails? Agent Sullivan didn't understand when I tried to tell him. You know when to listen. Forwarded message. Missing persons can be so much trouble. Compared to them, we lead charmed lives, don't you think? The hell does that mean? Missing persons can be so much trouble. I don't know what that means. Well, I'm trying to listen, Oracle, but I don't know what your message means. Is the Oracle trying to say someone who's missing isn't... isn't dead? Like, a missing person is behind this? Could it be... I'm trying to remember the last case. In all those files I found, all those files I found in Anthony Longmore's apartment. Didn't someone escape and go missing? I'm not sure. I don't know, I'm sure it'll make sense 
probably pretty soon. I think I'm near the end of this episode. Alright, let's bust that thing open. This is not going to work with this. A lockpick it is. Let's see what's in here. Whoa. What? This has got to be the most expensive thing in the place. I thought that was a fuse box. Speak. This must be a voice activated lock. Had to have been expensive to set up. <laughs> it's not going to open for me. It's probably going to open from Joey's voice. Open sesame. Open sesame. Unlock. Open up. Door open. Let me in. <laughs> Fucking A. Fat chance this thing would open for my voice. I don't have time to call the manufacturer or a warrant even if I did. How can I get this thing open? Well, I have a tape recorder with a blank tape. But I need either Joey or... I forgot his girlfriend's name. Uh, Catherine. I need either Joey or Catherine's voice. Probably Joey's, I would imagine, because this is his apartment. What does this button do? Fucking A. Fat chance this thing would open. Alright, so how would I get either of their voices? Um. 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 Oh, um, the stereo, the CD, right? Her singing? Do I still have the CD? It's probably still in there. Yeah. Okay. Wait, did I say Catherine? Her name's actually Kelsey. Whoops. Sorry, I forgot her name. It started with a K, that was close enough. Actually, wait, hold up, no. I think I have to use the item on it before I start it. No more of everyone telling That's alright though, it's groovy. Yeah. There we go. Awkward pause, and then teleportation. T minus two seconds. One, two, eh? Huh? There we go. No more of everyone telling me the way it's got to be. I've got a path I'll take a road that's gonna set me free. All right, that should do it. He was obsessed with Kelsey. Maybe this'll do it. Twisted, but at least Bingo. it Bingo!
You know, I thought this might look like a serial killer's a apartment, but serial killer. But it looks totally normal. This place is a profile that practically writes itself. This looks exactly like my room. All right, let me save it because I think things are about to go south. Is there a medium or technique this guy didn't try? He's run the gamut. And he scratched something out or thrown paint over almost every one of them. Most of this stuff looks like old tools for artistry. Those jars and that tray don't really go with the rest. Uh, those jars don't have organs in them, do they? Oh god, I think they do. There's nothing but some fluid in these, and they're labeled one through four. Looks like there used to be tape on them. This evidence is too important to remove. There's nothing but some... What did he make with their organs? What's under there? Ugh, oh, it smells awful. What is under there? Please don't let it be a face mask of stitched together organs or something. The victim's oh. organs? What the fuck is this, a trophy wall? Well, got four pairs of eyes, three tongues, and uh, four ears. Uh, five ears. There's only one ear down here, so this must uh, is this probably Sully's other ear? Because I know the other one's back at the station. Oh, this guy is fucking sick. Oh. It's handwritten, and most of it is scratched out. These are all of Kelsey, but he's erased her eyes, ears, and mouth in all of them. The organs aren't just trophies. They were for Kelsey. Mm -hmm. He said he'd fix her, make her perfect, by killing people he thought failed or betrayed her and taking their organs to replace hers. He must have seriously believed somehow she'd come back to life if he found the right ones. Uh, what was that? This thing looks as solid as the exterior door. No handle, no hinges, and the glass looks bulletproof. It just made a noise. <laughs> Press enter to start? Uh, no. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. Not enter a password, but press enter to start. Start what? My torture? Is there anything else in here? Uh, that's basically it, except for the wires. Another cable protector, like the exterior door. Can't risk damaging them. If it's got something to do with the door, those might be my only way in. Those two don't work together. You know, now might be a pretty good time to call for backup. I probably can, but I'm gonna try. No, thank you. Alright, here we go into Serial Killer's den with no backup. Let me at least get my gun out. There we go. Another high-tech lock. The post office can't pay nearly enough to cover these. How did Gothals afford this stuff? Hey, that's a good point. How the hell did he afford all this high-tech equipment? Well, he does live in a shithole apartment. Maybe he just saved up money? Eh, that's doubtful. 
As far as I know, he only started killing after... God damn it, what was her name? Kath... No. K I forgot. I, I forgot her name. I know it starts with a K. But I think he only started murdering after her death, after he killed her. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine he'd have all this high-tech equipment set up before that happened. He probably got it recently, which means he didn't have time to save up. I don't know. I don't really have enough information to really say much about that. It's dark in there. I can't see anything. Uh, does your camera have a flash? Maybe you can take a picture? Oh, I can't use anything on it. Damn it. Alright, let's go inside. It's a touchscreen tablet, attached to another high-tech lock. Press enter to start. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, me too. Oh, oh. oh god. Sully. No. Jared, I'm here. Holy shit. That's a lethal injection chair. Sully, can you move? The door won't open. Ugh. Shit! Hang on, I'm gonna get you out of there. There's something on the panel. Just hold on, Sully! What is this, a quiz? I have to answer a fucking quiz to get past this door? Welcome, Agent Reed. Good work on finding this place. Uh, have you been paying close, att close attention, taking notes, being hands-on? Let's find out. Please remain inside the testing area until all questions have been answered. Exiting during the test will result in an automatic failure. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Holy shit. Sully? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not good at quizzes. You might die. I'm sorry. Oh, what? Ah. Uh, can I use my equipment, please? Uh, with whom was each charm found? Uh, hold on. I don't know. I don't fucking know. It's empty. So no. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming I'm on a timer right now. Let me write this stuff down. Okay. Colleen. G clef. Next. Come on. Luke. Um, small, uh, violent. Oh, shit. Drop my pen. Next. Come on, come on. Nick. Uh, what was it, what was it, what was it? Um, Bell. What about the other ones? Shit. Heather. Uh, piano. But shit, wait, what about the other ones? Um, Tess. Uh, Tess was... Uh, fuck, what was it? What was Tess? Uh, Tess was... Theater ma theater masks, right? And the guitar was was Sully. The guitar was with Sully, right? That bitch left the silver guitar chain next to Sully's ear. Yeah, guitar Sully. Okay, got it. Okay, I have, wait, how do I do this? Oh, okay. So, um, Colleen was G-Clef, Luke was Violin, uh, Nick was Bell, Heather was Piano, uh, Sully was Guitar, and Test Stamper was Theater Masks. Okay. Green light. Come on. That's good. Shit, another question. Put together the title of the last song... Heather Ann sang. Uh, what? Huh? How? How the fuck am I supposed to know that? Wait, wait, oh wait, is that in your file? I think it might be in your file. Come on, come on. Okay. Mm. Does it say anything? Anything? Retired opera singer? I, I don't... 
I don't know. How am I supposed to know that? Fuck. Um. Fourth and most recent victim. I, I don't remember. Did I ever know this at any point? I don't remember. I, I don't know. What do I have that could possibly tell me that? Fuck, I think he's I, I think he's gonna die. I can't answer this. I just, I just don't have to leave the testing area, right? So I can exit this? I just don't... I can't leave the building? Jar 4. Okay. Jar 3. Jar 2. I don't know how this helps me. Jar 1. There's some tape on this one. And the letters A-N. Someone ripped off the label. Anna? Was there someone called Anna? How does that help me? How does this help me at all? Someone's eyes. Someone's eyes. Someone's eyes. Yeah, what the fuck am I supposed to do with ears. this? A pair of ears. Uh. I don't. I don't know how this helps me. I don't know what to do. Fuck. Oh, wait, 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 oh, Yes! I totally forgot about that! Cognition! I'm not getting anything. Something's not right. Okay, so I've got to match it up. So I've got to match them up. These came from Colleen. Oh, I should take these once I know who they belong to. Oh, oh okay. If, if you say so. Uh... Taken from Heather Ann, the opera singer. Okay, good. Heather Ann. Uh, Mike. Ugh. Ugh. I don't have a reason to do that right now. Well, it says Ann, so is this Heather Ann's jar? Whoops. Alright, let's do the rest. That looked like... No, that can't be right. Yeah, who the... Wait, Jo... What? That was Joey's eyes? What the fuck is going on? These were Luke's eyes. This came from Colleen. Alright, we just gotta know where everything came from and then put it all together. Taken from Heather Ann, the opera set. Joey go falls? But he's the one. Taken from Heather Ann, the opera. These were DJ Abhorrence's ears. I think I could combine what I have, but can I do anything with these yet? I'm not getting anything. Something's not right. What if I just combine them all? Or, oh no, I can only do one. Okay, anyway, uh, I don't think I need to do that yet. Okay, inventory. 
So I need to combine. What the? I need to combine um, Heather Ants, Heather's ears, with Heather's eyes and Heather's tongue. Wait, I need more. Oh, uh, with the charm, right? Okay. Um, Heather was piano. Here we go. Ooh, there it is. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I've got it. Le Bohem or something. Okay. It was L A, right? Not L E. Let me just be sure. Of, let me just be sure of that. Right? L A? Yes. Okay. Good. How many of these are there? Why was DJ Abhorrence in Abhorrence in the alleyway where he died? Good question. Okay. His ears. And wait, did Oh, it was only his ears, right? Okay. And Wait, what was his symbol? It wasn't piano. What was it? Guitar? G clef. There we go. Bell. Uh, he was smoking. Come on, come on. Ooh. Um, Colleen acted in what show for her final performance? Colleen acted in what show for her final performance? Which one search Kaleem was G Clef? What show? Uh, HMS? Uh, Pinafore. Got it. HMS? Pinafore. Got it. Whew. Configurations? What the hell does that mean? What were the names of the configurations? What? Broken things need to be fixed to work. Again, the broken pieces must be replaced and in the proper configuration. The first configuration included the eyes of the tutor. The ears of the spinner and the tongue of the rival. What? I think I need more paper. Can we write this down? Eyes of the tutor. Ears. Of the spinner, which I believe would be the DJ. And the tongue of the rival. Rival. Yeah, someone... Who's her rival? Someone, like, took part that she didn't get or something like that? Okay, next. Alright, second. Young woman's eyes. And ears of the smoker. Wouldn't that be the DJ again? And the old woman's tongue. Okay. Next. Jesus. Alright. Third. Okay. Eyes. 
and ears of the teacher. And tongue of the Lady Sailor. Lady Sailor, isn't the one I just saw doing the play, HMS Pinafore? I don't remember who that was, though. Is there another one? Oh my god. Fourth? Ears of the Opera Singer. Eyes of the Composer. Tongue of the Rival. What were the name... What? What were the names of the configurations? Oh, that's the, the jar. Right? Okay, that must have been uh, what was written on the jar. And something starts with A and N, right? There's like a little bit of tape on one of them, and only one starts with A and N, Angel. So Angel has to be one of them. I'm just gonna write that down. Right, A and N? Yeah. Yeah, that must have said Angel. Okay, how do I do this, though? I'm not getting anything. Uh, oh, do I need to... I need to put the right things in the jar, don't I? Shit. Okay. okay. So the first is Angel, then it's the eyes of the tutor. Who the fuck was the tutor? Oh my god. Ah. Alright, hold on. Let's go through these. Um. Colleen was. What was she? She was at a theater. Rehearsing. Rehearsing. Was she the one rehearsing as the sailor, HMS Pinafore? Double check. Gonna have to double check everything. I do not want to fuck this up. Colleen. 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 It was that and... What was your g -clef? Here we go. Okay, yeah. So she would be the sailor, I guess? Hmm. Okay. Got that. Uh, next. Luke. Alright, Luke. Um... Wait, was this the DJ? No, he's a music tutor. Which one was the DJ? What's the DJ's actual name? I can't remember. Anyway, um, Luke. Music tutor. No, I don't think that was the DJ. Okay. I'm just gonna get the rest down while I'm here. Yeah, that's the DJ. Nick. Okay, DJ. Smoker. Heather. Retired opera singer. Um, working as a tutor. Okay. 
I think that's all I need from the files, so now let me do this. Okay, I need more about Luke. Luke. Uh, which one is you? No. Definitely not that one. Not the bell. There we go. That didn't really tell me much. Okay, I don't need to do Nick. I already know about the DJ. Uh, Heather. I think this will be the last one. Heather. Heather, Heather, Heather. There's eyes. <clears throat> uh, which one are you? Nope. Nope. Yes. Wait, did I... Did I just close it? What did I just do? I think I accidentally closed it. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so I know Heather's a retired opera singer, now tutor. Okay, I'm not getting any more information about that. Alright. First configuration, the eyes of the tutor. Uh, I have two tutors, though. Luke and Heather. Uh, let's try one. Let's try Luke. Okay, the eyes of Luke. Wait a minute, is Heather's eyes even in there? Yeah, okay, it could be either. Alright, so Luke. This one should be... Ugh. <laughs> That's disgusting. This one should be Angel, but I just want to confirm that this works. Alright, the ears of the spinner, that'd be the DJ. The DJ is Nick, so Nick's ears... No, no, I didn't want to take that out. God damn it. Hold on. Luke's eyes. Okay, and then the tongue of the rival. Uh, who's the rival? Um. Well, we have a DJ, two music tutors, and Colleen, which is in theater. So I think it must be Colleen. So, the tongue of Colleen? Okay. Yes. Angel, one down, three to go. Come on. All right, second configuration. Um, the eyes of the young woman. Well, Heather's retired opera singer, so no. Uh, it has to be Colleen. Yeah, she's the only young woman. So the eyes of Colleen. Um, the ears of the smoker, that's the DJ, which is Nick, so Nick's ears. And then the tongue of the old woman, that had to be the retired opera singer, so Heather's tongue. Bingo, lover. Lover, that's two. Okay. Third configuration. Um, the eyes and ears of the teacher. Okay, there are two teachers, Heather and Luke. So who has both eyes and ears? Hopefully it's not both of them. Eyes and ears of Luke. Luke has... Luke and Heather both have eyes. Do they both have ears? Luke and Heather? No, Luke does not have ears, so it must be Heather. So Heather's eyes and ears. Heather's eyes and ears. Um, and then the tongue of the Lady Sailor, which would be Colleen. Colleen's tongue. Come on, please. Please. Yes, Starlet. Starlet, just one more label and I've got this. Okay, fourth configuration. The ears of the opera singer. Heather is retired opera singer. Does that count? I'm going to say yes. Um, so Heather's ears. The eyes of the composer. Uh, shit. It's either Luke or Heather. Uh, Luke? Luke's eyes? Wait, Luke has eyes. Does Heather have eyes? Yeah, Heather has eyes too. Alright, I'm gonna go with Luke. 
All right, the tongue. Shit, this one's hard. The tongue of the rival. The rival. I think that's Colleen. Yeah, didn't we already do the rival? Yeah, I think it's Colleen. Oh, uh, so Colleen's Colleen's tongue. Mm, I don't. Know. This one might not be right. Oh God, it is. Darling. Darling. That's all of them. Okay. Whew. Come on, come on. Okay. Angel. Lover. Starlet. And Darling. Angel, Lover, Starlet, Darling. Go. One more time. You're an excellent detective. Yeah, thank you. Fuck you. Final question. To whom do the spare organs belong? Well, it's not Kelsey. I don't even know who Daniel Chapman is. It's either Sully or Joey. I saw Joey. I saw Joey. Um, fuck. I saw Joey getting all his stuff cut off. Well, I mean, yeah, it's Joey. Yeah. It's Joey. That's all the spare organs. Right? It, it, it's Joey. I want to be really sure before I say yes. Yeah, that's all his organs. I didn't find any of Sully's organs there. The only organs of his that I have is one of his ears, and that's not even here. Joey. Oh, okay. That was the last one. Sully. Did I get it right? Uh, I think so. Jared. Hell. If I'd have known this was all I had to do. Oh, shut up, you ass. If you ever get kidnapped again, I'm not speaking to you. Uh, noted. Uh, can you call 911 now? On it. Yeah, I need an ambulance ASAP for a severely wounded FBI agent. Kelsey was here the whole time while Go Falls tried to fix her. Would turn her into his own personal masterpiece. If those really belong to Joey Gothals, what the hell is going on? Who's doing this, and how do they know about me? That symbol. Holy shit. I swear the Illuminati lives in this building. You think the government's really got a branch of psychics working for them? I don't know. That's ridiculous. I, I kind of believe in some conspiracy theories. Like, for example, I heard that the U.S. government is putting high levels of vinegar in the nation's water supply. Vinegar. That explains all the douchebags running around. What the hell is going on?
Well, that's the end of episode two. Obviously something bigger is, uh, is going on. Okay, well, I can't wait, uh, I can't wait to play episode three and figure out what happens. So yeah, from, um, what I heard is that episode two improved on a lot of the problems of the first, and it really does. It, like, almost all of the flab that existed in the first one is gone, for the most part. Yeah, because there's some, f like, filler, silly stuff, like, having to get people food and having to do little like, ridiculous kind of favors for people just to get stiff just to get stuff done it's, it's kind of like busy work and this one had almost none of that like almost virtually none of it so it's a big improvement and now I'm even more into the story and I really want to know what happens in the next episode so I hope you have enjoyed so far and I will see you on the next episode <laughs>